Today we're going to talk about the slope-intercept equation. The slope-intercept equation is this y equals mx plus b. This equation is what we use to help us graph lines. So we're given three equations in this form, y equals mx plus b, and we're going to use the information, the m and the b, to graph the lines. Now remember from last week, m represents the slope of the line. So this variable here, m, represents the slope. Remember that's the rise over the run, or the vertical change over the horizontal change. Okay. So when we graph these, we're going to use this slope to help us find the rise over the run, the vertical change over the horizontal change. B now is what we call our y-intercept. That means that this number represents where our line crosses this y-axis. Remember this vertical axis here is the y-axis, and this horizontal one is the x. So it tells us where we cross this y-axis. The b value today is going to be our starting point. We're going to use that as our starting point for our graph, and then from that point, we're going to apply our slope. So let's look at the first example here and try this out. We have y equals 5 halves x minus 4. So first, let's just identify our slope and our y-intercept. Our slope. So the m value, the slope, is always in front of the x. So in this case, our slope is 5 over 2, 5 halves. Remember, it always has to be in fraction form because it's rise over run. Our b value, then, is this number on the end being added or subtracted. In this case, we're subtracting 4, so our b value is negative 4. So this, again, is my starting point. So we're going to start at negative 4. So I'm going to go to my y-axis, and I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4 to negative 4. And there's my starting point. I'm going to go ahead and plot that right on there. Now after I have my starting point plotted, I can take a look at my slope. This is a positive 5, so remember that tells me I'm going to go up 5. This is a positive 2, so this tells me my run is going to the right 2. So from that starting point of negative 4, I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and to the right, 1, 2. And there's a second point on my graph. Let's do it one more time. Remember, we need at least 3 points to graph a line. Up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. To the right, 1, 2. I can do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, nope, not enough graph room to do a fourth point. Three points is fine. You need a minimum of three points. Um, if you want more points, remember if you do the complete opposite, which we discussed last week, I can plot a fourth point on here. If I go down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, to the left, 1, 2, I can get a fourth point on that line. Notice again, they all lie in a straight line. We're graphing linear equations, so if you don't get a straight line, you want to go back and recheck your points. Then we draw on our line connecting those points, and there's my line representing the equation y equals 5 halves x minus 4. So again, minus 4, we started at negative 4, and then we applied our slope, 5 over 2. We went up 5 to the right 2. Up 5 to the right 2. Let's look at the next example here. We have y equals negative 3x plus 5. Again, let's identify the slope and the y-intercept first. The slope in this case now is this negative 3. 
Remember when I have just a whole number, since slope has to be written as a fraction, we can always put that over 1. So this is negative 3 over 1 for my slope. My y-intercept then is this plus 5, so a positive 5 for my y-intercept. So now we're going to graph using this information. We start with the y-intercept, so start up at positive 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on our y-axis. Now from that starting point we're going to apply our slope. Negative 3 over 1. Since it's a negative 3 for our rise, that tells us we have to go down 3 and a positive 1 for our run, so we have to go to the right 1. So from that starting point up at positive 5, we're going to go down 1, 2, 3, to the right 1. Down 1, 2, 3, to the right 1. 1, 2, 3, to the right 1. Again, you only need four, three points, but I like to do a few more just so I can draw in a better line once I have to. I'm going to draw in the line as best I can here going through those points. And there's my line. representing the equation y equals negative 3x plus 5. So again, we started up at positive 5, and then we applied our slope, so we went down 3 to the right 1 each time. Down 3 to the right 1. Last example here. Look at y equals negative x minus 2. Again, let's identify our slope and identify our y-intercept before graphing. My slope now is this negative in front of the x. Remember, that's really a negative 1. And there's no number, there's always an imaginary 1 there. So we have a negative 1 over 1. Remember, we put it over 1 to make it into a fraction. Our y-intercept then is this minus 2, so our y-intercept is negative 2. So we go ahead and start with our y-intercept, so I'm going to go to negative 2 on the y-axis. 1, 2. And we're going to look at our slope now. My slope is negative 1 over 1. Since it's negative 1, that means I'm going to go down 1. And for my run, I have a positive 1, so I'm going to go to the right 1. So from that starting point at negative 2, we're going to go down 1 to the right 1. 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 I'm going to do a few more just so I don't get confused with my other line here. And now I'm going to take those points and connect them with the best line that I can here. And there's my line, representing this equation, y equals negative x minus 2. So again, we started down at negative 2 on the y-axis, and then we applied our slope. So we went down 1 to the right 1, down 1 to the right 1. So this is graphing. The linear equation y equals mx plus b, or the slope-intercept equation. If you have any questions, please let me know.